So, received a call about the breaker continues to pop every time they put it in preheat mode. Every time they turn on their oven, the breaker pops. These are all the, the equipment you will need for this change with along with a new igniter. Um, so, this, here's how you illuminate the problem. These are all the tools you need. You need a quarter inch nut driver. What you do is, the process of elimination. You take off this back panel. I took out most of the screws already, so I'm not going to be for the, um, trying to hold the camera and do it at the same time. So, process of elimination. This is your sensor. Your flame sensor switch inside the oven. Um, this will usually give you the F3 on the slow board. If you ever see that, it gives you the F3s on that uh, board, if that goes bad. So we know it's not this, because it only gives you the F3. We know that this sometimes can give you the F3. There's another igniter switch at the top. One is for broil. Um, one is just for the regular heating of the oven. The upper element, and that's the bottom element. So. If this is bad, it'll knock out the breaker also. This is another igniter switch for the upper element, the heating element. This is your bottom igniter. If the breaker keeps tripping, this one with bad. So the process of elimination, plug up the stove, remove this first before you plug up the stove. If the oven preheats, it doesn't trip the breaker, you know it's not this one. If you unplug it, put that back in, you unplug it, you move this one. If it's still tripping, you know it's either this one or that one. Well, what we found out is it's not the light bulb, so we unhook this. We found out when we hook this bottom igniter up, it trips the breaker. So this igniter switch is bad. Now you can ohm it out and see, but process elimination for household products is easy. Elimination. So you go here, you open the oven, you remove the rack. And you take off this so they got two screws quarter inch nut driver screws in the back I uh, forgot the flashlight let's get the flashlight you see those holes back here you got two quarter inch and that's all you have to do is remove those with your nut driver Put your fingers through here. Lift this out. Hard to do this with one hand. I'm doing it. There it goes. This is one. The upper igniter is there. And there's the flame sensor. All the things I showed you behind the stove. All you have to do, remove this, route that line back here. You cut this, but I'll show you in a second, and just replace this igniter switch. Uh, so I'll show you what I'm doing.
Uh, as you see, it's now firing up. The preheat is on. Everything is working. See the light in there? Let me turn it off. Voila, no more chipping the breaker. No more chipping the breaker. So, you're good to go, put everything back, and you're good to go.